Have you been wondering what you can get in Castle Rock, Colorado for $500,000 to $600,000? Well, in today's video, I'm going over exactly that. And we will be touring three different neighborhoods at three different price points. And I will be showing you guys exactly what you can get. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and keep on watching. Welcome back to Colorado Living. I'm Nicole Baker. Today we are talking about exactly that, but before we get started, I wanna let you guys know I am a licensed realtor here in this beautiful state, and I definitely help people relocate to Castle Rock and the surrounding areas throughout Denver Metro. If that's something that you're interested in, my number's popping up as well as my email, feel free to reach out. I love helping you guys, but let's get started in today's video. All right, we're getting right into it. We will be making our first stop at the Meadows. I'm here right now and it is just absolutely beautiful. You are located right off of the freeway and right next to the outlet mall here in Castle Rock, Colorado, which has stores like the Restoration Hardware Outlet, you have the Nike store, you have H&M. I mean, you pretty much have it all and it's very new and beautiful. And the first house we are going to be checking out is priced at 515 for 1,200 square feet, which is a little bit smaller, but you have that amazing price of 515 and it is updated in the inside. It is a very cute home, but we're gonna start in the neighborhood first another thing to mention about this neighborhood you are located in the douglas county high school district if high schools are important to you please check out the links below douglas county is known to be one of the better high school districts in colorado so again if you are interested in it please check out that link to get more information about that i don't have kids i don't have kids in high school especially so again check it out we're gonna go ahead and flip this camera over so you guys can see exactly what you would be getting in this neighborhood and then we will drive by that house so I can show you guys what the outside looks like and I'll pop up some pictures towards that time of the inside of the home too so you can see exactly what you'd be getting. So let's go ahead and get started with the neighborhood. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, in this neighborhood the homes are not super new but they're not too old. You're also gonna see a little bit of a smaller floor plan in in this neighborhood again the house that we're gonna be driving by here in just a second is 1,200 square feet for Colorado homes that is pretty small you don't typically see things in that square footage here but I think that that gives an amazing opportunity especially for some first-time home buyers if you're looking for that single like the true single family home not necessarily a condo or a townhome it definitely gives you more opportunity if you have a smaller square footage because smaller square footage typically means that you are going to be spending less so that five hundred and fifteen thousand dollars is pretty unheard of in colorado the thing about castle rock again that's super nice that a lot of people love is the price points here they're a little bit cheaper and i think that has a lot to do with the proximity to denver and the airport anytime you're going to be further out you are going to see the pricing be a little bit cheaper which is nice obviously if you don't mind that distance and you don't necessarily have to go into downtown denver to work and things like that you will not have as much of a problem but this neighborhood is absolutely beautiful again in one of the top school districts and tons of walking paths it's about four o'clock right now and you can see people out here walking their dogs you have this whole empty field right here on the left that's the thing about Colorado that I absolutely love is you have no shortage of walking paths like pretty much everyone's walking and it's really made me want to get into not necessarily walking but maybe running or something like that something where I can get outside and really enjoy the the weather and the nature that Colorado has to bring but again you can see some features about these homes is they do have some larger trees not as mature as some of the other neighborhoods that I've featured on this channel before but you still have 
some larger trees and that is because it's an older neighborhood. You also have tons of people with grass in their front yards. The sizing on these streets, you do have a little bit more open street. It's a wide street, but lots of people parked on the side. Not every single neighborhood is going to be like that. It really just depends on how strict your HOA is, but some people like it because if you have kids that drive, you're going to need to be able to park on the side of the street unless you, you know, only have a couple cars. But we are at this house right now. I'm gonna flip over so we are not faced directly into the sun so you guys can actually see the house. But I'm also going to pop up a photo of the exterior so you guys can really see what that looks like. Here we are. So it is a smaller home. You can tell that right away from the outside. Another nice feature about this is it is single story ranch style. So if you do have um, anyone elderly or not good with stairs or doesn't want stairs, I know for me I hate stairs. So this would actually be a awesome size for something like that or someone that doesn't need tons of space. It does have three bedrooms, so it's not like you have to really worry about the bedrooms particularly. It just does have a smaller living square footage where the TV and stuff like that, you're not gonna have this major square footage. So if you have some bigger furniture and stuff like that, you would just have to check it out or get some new furniture. But another thing to think about whenever you're looking at these homes is going to be the backyard size. The backyard on this one does have a little bit of a step up. So you'll see in Colorado in general, I'm just gonna keep driving so you guys can really see these different homes and whatnot in the, in the neighborhood. But in Colorado, not every, it's not very flat, we'll say that. Obviously, depending on where you're coming from, me coming from Arizona, a desert, it is super, super flat there. The backyards, aren't always flat so you'll have to keep that in mind when you're looking at lots whether that be a new home or you know a resale home like the homes that we're looking at today but in the backyard of this one again I'll put that on the screen for you guys so you guys can see that but you'll see that it's a fairly small backyard with a step up that kind of goes as a hill on their backyard and depending on what you're looking to do in the backyard that might not be ideal for you so just keep that in mind but let's go ahead and head over to the next little area and i will see you guys when we get there guys we are not but one minute away from that last property and I will be showing you guys a house that is priced at 575 and keep in mind these are just the list prices that doesn't mean that they necessarily go for that so sometimes they can go for lower and typically they're gonna go for lower in this market but not six months ago three months ago it really just depends on the property but they were going for sixty thousand a hundred thousand dollars over luckily now we don't have to deal with that as much which is awesome i love it for all my buyers especially my relocation people less pocket out of money for you guys the better but something that i really love about castle rock that i didn't mention previously is that it's super super close to the mountains so if you are a type of person that wants to be you know within 15 30 45 minutes from the mountains castle rock is an amazing location for you and i'm coming from someone my dad wants to be located really close to the mountain range that's like one of the major you know benefits of living in Colorado. He wants to be able to hop in his car and really just drive there with no struggles. And that's why they fell in love with Castle Rock specifically is because he had, he would be about 30 minutes from, you know, being deep in the forest and being able to ride the Can-Am and, you know, go fishing and whatever the case may be. So if you're an outdoorsy person, Castle Rock is amazing too. And your proximity to Colorado Springs and Denver, you're really in the middle of both of those. And those are major locations for anyone that's working that might be like construction or something like that you are having two major cities you're literally right in the middle of two major cities so whether you decide you want to work closer to Colorado Springs a little bit of a further drive depending on where in Castle Rock you're located or you're about 40 minutes or so to downtown Denver if you're interested in being downtown 
but Castle Rock is a little bit further out whether you know you do want to work in Colorado Springs or downtown it's kind of in the middle but it is a little bit of a distance you're also going to be a little bit further from the airport you're probably about 45 50 minutes from the airport so if you travel a lot that might not be the most convenient location I would look into areas like Southeast Aurora Parker some of those areas they might have a little bit more opportunity for you if you don't enjoy driving that far to go to the airport for people that travel a lot again Parker is one of my favorite locations Southeast Aurora is where I live so I'm pretty familiar with those and I have other videos if you guys want to check those out and are interested in those locations you guys can check that out but let's go ahead and flip this camera around and I'll kind of tell you about the house that we're going to be looking at today a little bit more about it and kind of explain to you guys the benefits of this neighborhood all right getting started we will check out these houses as you can see just from driving by they're pretty similar to the last neighborhood we were in like I said we're only about a minute away the difference between these ones you can already tell right off the bat these super mature large overgrown trees that I pretty much fall in love with every single time I see every time I'm driving around in these neighborhoods that's something that I would look for in my house I love new builds but I much rather have I think these overgrown trees in my opinions change every single day I swear that's the benefits of being a realtor but while we're driving around in this neighborhood just to give you guys a little insight on the house that we will be seeing in just a second it is 2249 square feet so about double the size of that last property and it is priced again at 575 so you can see you know you're gonna get a lot more square footage if you can spend you know I'm not gonna say it's a little bit of money but just a little bit higher of a price point you're gonna get a higher square footage especially in Colorado 515 that the other property was it's really 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 hard to find benefits of being in Castle Rock like I mentioned is you can find some properties that are a little bit cheaper because you are a little bit further from the city but 575 is not too bad for Colorado right down there past this cul-de-sac is going to be the high school again Douglas County high schools but yeah let's go ahead and head over to that house so you guys can see the front of it and kind of check it out and see what you can get for your 500 to 600 thousand price point <laughs> All right, guys, so we are pulling up right now. As you can see, this home is quite a bit bigger. I'm going to pop up a exterior photo so you guys can see what that looks like and also some interior photos. But again, double the size, similar front yard, and we will check out the backyard so you guys can see what that looks like and what you can, can get. But you have similar square footage in this one, is, or similar layout in this one as you did in the other one. The only difference is going to be the multi-level. So if you are hard with stairs, you don't enjoy stairs, something like this might not work for you, but it just depends on what you're looking for and what kind of lifestyle you live. But the backyard on this one is more flat, which is nice if you plan to add like a trampoline or something like a playground or whatever it may be, like a little mini putting green. I don't know, <laughs> there's tons and tons of options. So if you are looking for something like that a flatter backyard might be better for you but this is a beautiful home and we will head to the next one which will be right under 600,000 not too far from here so I will see you guys when we get there all right guys last but not least we're here in Crystal Valley which is about 20 minutes south of the first location and the second location so you are pretty much on the southern end, southern end of Castle Rock which is a little bit further out from all your amenities that Castle Rock has to offer like the outlets and downtown town area so keep that in mind if you're thinking about moving out to Crystal Valley but this last house is going to be priced at 595 and it is at 2216 square feet so not too far off from that previous home but as I flip the camera around you will be able to see the difference in the actual area and the property this house is five bedrooms three baths and it is 
pretty brand new tons and tons of new builds and construction over in this area again it is a little bit more south but you get a almost brand new home for the 595 and again that is just the list price doesn't mean it's going to sell for that it could sell for a little bit cheaper in this market which would be amazing for anyone thinking about relocating here but you guys can reach out to me and we can set up a zoom and see what that looks like for you if you are relocating but I'm gonna go ahead and flip this camera around and show you guys the gorgeous view right when you pull into this neighborhood specifically and Crystal Valley in general tons and tons of amazing views throughout the entire subdivision but let's flip this camera around and show you guys the neighborhood all right guys right away I don't know if the camera is doing it justice but right when you pull into the subdivision you are you know graced with these beautiful beautiful views and that's something that I love about living in Colorado pretty much no matter where you live you're gonna have a gorgeous view but you definitely have a lot more open space over here in the southern end of Castle Rock where there are tons of new construction and obviously it's not as developed as it will be in a few years say five to ten years you're probably gonna see a lot less open land but you still Colorado has done an amazing job at keeping a lot of the Colorado integrity and what people fall in love with about Colorado where it has tons and tons of open you know grassy areas unlike a lot of other states where they just kind of you know try to throw in as much as they possibly can into one little area but let's go ahead and get going on checking out the rest of the neighborhood before we get to the property itself like I said tons and tons of new homes here and this whole community is just filled with new homes something again that I love and it does keep up the value in the home because if you aren't familiar with it but new builds do typically get they build equity quite a bit faster so that's awesome and I'm gonna go ahead and make a left here because what you'll see in this neighborhood which is probably a Richmond home a RV garage so not a lot of communities especially in Colorado unless you're doing a custom home or something a little bit older but not tons of RV garages let's see if we can see any other ones in this neighborhood it's actually one of the first ones I've seen in quite a while so I'm shocked that I saw that but those are typically $50,000 upgrades, so you know that home's gonna be quite a bit more than that $600,000 price point. Not, not seeing it anywhere else, but that's okay. I'm sure there's some in this neighborhood. It's not like just one house is gonna have it, but another thing to keep in mind that I'm seeing right off the bat here is tons of open fencing. So depending on what neighborhood you do decide on, open fencing is going to be typically a must if everyone else has it it's probably mandated by the HOA so you cannot have the closed fencing unless you are probably on a main road in the community then you might be able to have that closed fencing it just depends but we are gonna go ahead and wrap over to this new home that we're gonna check out at that 595 price point again look at those views straight ahead absolutely gorgeous another thing to mention in this neighborhood that was very different in the last two neighborhoods is you do not have the mature trees that the last two neighborhoods had to offer again that's just gonna be something that comes with a new build these trees are not fully grown yet they're just little babies still so depending on if you care about that or not just something to keep in mind but we're pulling up on this home right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up those pictures of the exterior and some of the interior so you guys can see that. But let's go ahead and get this car flipped around so you guys can see in real time and real life what this house looks like. There's some cars parked in the front so you won't be able to see it as well as I would like but again that's why I pop these exterior photos up so you guys can really get a good good look on what the house looks like but here we are 
absolutely gorgeous really cute new build I mean all the homes really look similar in this neighborhood so if that's something that bothers you a new build probably wouldn't be the best option but something to keep in mind and also for the price I mean you you really can't go wrong with these new builds a lot of the times they do offer incentives too, like closing costs or I mean there's tons of different variables right now a lot of builders are even buying down the rate so it just depends on what we can negotiate <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you got some insight on what you can purchase in Castle Rock, Colorado for the $500 to $600,000 price point. Obviously these are just examples and there are tons and tons of different houses in different price points, different square footages, all of that in the Denver metro area. So if you are thinking about relocating here and you need to know exactly what neighborhood to pick that makes most sense for you and your family, please feel free to reach out. My number's popping up as well as my email day night text call whatever makes sense for you guys i love helping you guys also if you liked this video hit me a like and if you want more videos just like this subscribe to my channel i post videos every monday and wednesday just like this showing you guys anything and everything there is to know about the denver metro area and relocating here so go ahead and check that out but until next time i'll see you guys later bye